Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome to Adam RPG. If you were a fan of the old school Fallout games, Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, the isometric Fallout games, I think you're gonna enjoy this game, because it seems pretty similar in gameplay and aesthetic, except that it takes place in Russia and not America. There may be a few other differences too, but I haven't really explored this game all that much. That's gonna change today. Let's start a new game. Here we are at the character building menu, and we have the Sediapol system, which is totally not the special system from Fallout. This is a different system that's pretty similar. We have strength, endurance, intelligence, and luck, but we don't have any charisma. We have personality, and we don't have perception. We have attention, so it's not the same. It's not the special system. Let's be very clear about that. We have taken points out of strength, endurance, and luck, and invested heavily into intellect, attention, personality, and dexterity. Because I figure it's good to have a couple of skills we specialize in. We want to be dexterous, we want to be intelligent, we want to be able to fight somebody if we get the drop on them. And here we have a couple of traits, I mean distinctions. They're not traits, they're distinctions. I think I'm going to go with, nah, maybe not morphine doctor, plus one intellect, but plus 50% addiction chance. I don't know if I'm going to be experimenting with the drugs in this run through. Cannibals, not terrible, but takes a hit to my personality. Don't know if I want to do that. My personality is pretty important. I do like sex appeal, plus two personality with women, but negative two personality with men. I think that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, sure, we'll be a bit more flirtatious. I think circus education wouldn't be terrible either. Plus one dexterity, plus ten to sneak, plus ten to lockpicking, and plus ten to pickpocket, but negative one to endurance, and eighteen kilograms less to carry weight, which is not great. It means I'm not going to be all that great in combat. A little bit of a hit to my physical capabilities, but dexterity seems to affect a lot of skills. All of my combat skills go up, and my sneaking skills go up. So yeah, I think circus education and sex appeal are going to be the distinctions we go with. And here we are starting at a campfire. Yeah, we can rotate the camera, so unlike the original Fallout games, we have a bit more graphical prowess. And there's my little campsite here. Wait a second, what's that rustling sound? Am I about to be ambushed? I have a feeling I am. Yep, got a couple of guys here. Five against one. Okay, this doesn't look like a great battle for me to take. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. You look like a tourist, man. Nice tent, clothes in good condition without holes or tears, and so much other stuff. It must be hard to carry such a weight on your shoulders. Well, actually, now that you mention it, yeah, I did take that trait that... Lowered my carrying capacity. Would you like to carry some of the stuff for me, sir? In fact, I'm giving some of the stuff away. Me and my pals could help you. Not for free, of course, but for a very manageable price. What say you? It's becoming painfully clear now that I'm about to be robbed. I have four options here. I could try to fight them. I could say, go on and rob me a bunch of lowlifes. Well, five against one is probably not a fight I want to take at this moment. I could try and use my speech craft. Or I could try and... Intimidate them with my strength, which I don't want to do because my strength is pretty low So I'll try and talk them down. Listen, I agree that sharing is caring But all I have is the bare minimum for survival be a human being leave me alone The man sighs and looks at you with a mix of pity and reproval So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna get robbed and maybe have my arm broken Listen, buddy. You obviously didn't catch my no, oh, what was it called metaphor sharing is out of the question Ugh, Why do I even bother lie down for a bit? Oh, what do you mean by that? Ow! Take the loot, men. We have a good catch tonight. And now I have been robbed, and my inventory is empty. Ugh, my head hurts. Those assholes, they took everything. Maybe they left me something. And that is an empty canteen. And I think that's it for this starting area. I don't see anything else. Okay, guess it's time for me to move on. Try and find that town. I don't believe it. They took everything I had in my inventory. Even my precious water chip. I'm gonna have to find this guy and hunt him down. Maybe he's at a casino or something. I can just put a bullet in between his eyes and take that shit for myself. Wasn't expecting a cutscene like this. I wonder how many of those there are in this game. Otra Pajo, that's where I'm going, all right. That's a town I'm trying to inspect. And you can definitely tell by the user interface that this game is heavily inspired by the old Fallout games. I even have punch for three AP and kick for four AP. So yes, a lot of direct inspiration from the old Fallout games. So this is the new town, the first town. There's a barrel over there in the waist. Oh, there's a guard here. Hey there, comrade! Hello to you too, sir. Nice to meet you, my name is Jan. May I ask what brings you to our village? I'm looking for somebody, maybe you've seen him? I doubt it, it would be way too easy. 
Somebody who lives here? No, someone who doesn't live here. Okay then, so how can I help you out? Just wanted to ask a few questions, I guess. Fine, I'll try to answer. Was there a troop of military types in your village lately? I ask because I see a lot of MRE rappers lying around. Funny you should ask. A squad of troops came through the village not too long ago. Can't say if they were military though, but they had some serious looking dudes. Good weapons on them. And their attitude was pretty militant. They were even wearing uniforms of sorts. Some serious guys, I tell you, real serious. They brought some water, rested for a day near the walls, and then moved on. I got to chatting with the youngest guy among them. He said they were on an expedition into the ruins. Probably looking for some pre-war tech. Or oh, what remains of it? God help them. They seem normal enough. Which way are the ruins? Here, I'll mark the location on your flip boy. It's not too far away. <laughs> okay, thanks. Can I ask another question? Fine, I'll try and answer. You have any work for me? Because I need to build up my level. I'm, I'm only level one right now. Ah, somewhere can always be found. Our tech guy disappeared somewhere. Stablev was his surname. He loves the drink from time to time. Sometimes even goes on a bender. But it's not like him to be gone for so long. The last time we saw him, he was pretty drunk. Said he was going to become a millionaire soon. And now he's gone. Well, maybe he earned his million and ran off. Ever think about that? <laughs> Where would he get a million rubles? Something shady about the whole situation in these sands here. You could say these are shady sands, you know. Anyway, a real handyman would be most welcome here nowadays. Well, that's me. I'm nothing if not handy. My survival skill is respectable. It's adequate. Feel free to come back here whenever. It can get pretty boring just standing guard here. I never leave this spot. All right, well, I might visit you again sometime. Thank you for the friendly conversation. And your dog's pretty cool too. Can I pet the dog? Is there a pet option? No, I can't pet the dog. Oh, that's a little disappointing, I gotta say. Well, this is just an early access build. Maybe they'll add dog petting before the final version comes out. Hey there, what are you doing in my house? You didn't even knock, you just walked right in. What are you guarding in here? It's the village treasury. Don't get any ideas. I am old, but I am also a great shot. Tell me about yourself. What's there to tell? I'm a simple man. I can shoot a spider between the eyes from 200 paces. Oh, that's right. I don't like to brag, you know, but for many years now, I've won a local top marksmanship contest. Ooh, can I participate in that? When is the le when is the next marksmanship contest? It's not for eight more months, you little punk. Get out of here. They say monsters are seen to the south and the north. Giant spiders, wasps, cazadors, and even more dangerous things. Some even settle near the village. I don't know if they can breed or not. If they can, we're in trouble. Yep, that's pretty troubling. Nice talking to you. Goodbye! Is this the tavern? We see a lady here at a desk and a guy over here tending the bar. Oh, the bartender, I'm guessing. Ooh, a customer. Welcome to the tavern. You travelers should keep on coming. What do you mean? Well, you're here right now. And not long ago, a band of armed people came to the village. People with guns usually mean trouble around these parts. But they were pretty civil, just like real army men. Can you tell me more about them? Uh, not much to tell, they weren't shoddy. Our village head wanted to speak to them about some issue, but they just left. So I don't think he struck any deal with them. They talked to our guard gate more than anyone else. His name is Jan. Yeah, I already talked to that guy. So, you got any busy work you need me to do? Uh, you can talk to my sister about that. I'm a simple-minded guy myself. I can sell you beer, and I can sell you more beer. Hold on, maybe I got a little work for you first. Want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Tell me what's your business proposal. The matter is pretty simple. Small job, really. I need you to deliver something for me to Krasnomansky. Sorry, I have difficulty pronouncing that city's name. Abraham is the local bookseller, and he has a book at his store. I can't go get it myself because I've got all this work around the bar. Look at all these patrons. Who's going to serve these patrons if not me? But you seem to travel a lot. I can tell because you've already been mugged. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself in that city, maybe you can pick it up for me. On your return, I'll compensate you for your trouble. Yeah, sure. It's a deal. If I ever get to that city, I'll visit Abraham. Thank you so much. Here is the receipt for the book. Just show it to Abe, and he'll give it to you. Will do. Now, this lady down here. Hello, how are you? Your brother sent me over. He says you might have some tinkered for me to try out. I see. Well, that's great. I doubt you've ever drunk anything quite like this. It's a new recipe, you see. Not really new. More like forgotten by everybody else. Oh boy, I love drinking new things. Here, drink up. Okay. Right, time for me to boldly go where no one has ever gone before, into the bottom of this cup. Oh, I passed out. Uh, everything's spitting. Oh, I'm having hallucinations. Oh, uh, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> he's alive! Vasya, he's alive! Thank God, I thought I'd killed this guy. You're awake. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Hey, wait, did you rob me? 
My pack is empty! Oh no wait, I got robbed and then I passed out. I forgot. That was quite the hearty constitution you have! I'm sorry, I made the tinker too strong. How stupid of me. I almost killed you. I would have felt terrible for five whole minutes. We took good care of you while you were asleep. And your empty canteen, because that's the only thing you had on your person. I check my belongings and discover that I have not been robbed. Oh no, thank god I have that empty canteen. I still don't understand why it turned out so strong. I used my grandpa's recipe and... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we need to have a talk. Gotta make sure your brain is completely recovered. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's have a little bit of a chat. How's it going? I'm looking for work. Can you point me towards some? Everyone around here is looking for work, sadly. I can't really help you. Uh, maybe talk to our village head or Comrade Kovalev? He's always got some work to be done. I'm ashamed to ask, but I also need some toadstools picked. Do you have some free time to pick some mushrooms for me? Just five would help. They grow on the other side of the fence, not far from here, but for some reason I can't be bothered to do it. Uh, look, I'm trustworthy. Maybe we skip to the mushroom part and you just kind of trust me a little bit more. You know, my family is quite respected around these parts, and I won't gamble our reputation on someone I don't really know. If you change your mind about the mushrooms, come find me later. Okay, fine. I will go fetch five mushrooms for you. Okay, we have our first quest. Go pick five mushrooms from the other side of the fence. Somewhere over on this. I think I see a couple of mushrooms over here, maybe? Okay, okay. We'll go pick some mushrooms soon. And this guy just walked up to the bar while I was passed out. Hello, who are you and what are you doing here? It's another Adam Cadet. I knew him before being sent on a rescue mission. We were never friends, but I still recognize him. His name is Alex. I could pretend I don't recognize him, but, um, hey, Alex. Hey, little Victor. Didn't recognize you at first, but now it's painfully obvious. I recognize that stupid face anywhere. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing here? I'm surprised by that question, Chav. What am I doing here? Did you honestly think you were the only one they sent after Morozov and his buddies? Nope, not the case. We were both sent, just at different times, and I stumbled upon this village. Uh, I guess we could work together. Two eyes are better than one, but I... I uh, Alright, fine. How is your investigation going? I'm calculating things, looking for clues, trying to level up, do some experience. I uh, picked some oranges for a couple of people around here to get some XP. I'm almost level 3 right now. Oh damn, level 3? You're way ahead of me. How is life in the wastes? Is it treating you well, buddy? What are you, my mother? Ah, don't answer. I don't... I, it wouldn't surprise me if you are. I, uh, life is okay. It's not like they say in my native Georgia, a sweet peach, but it's still okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Alex. Well, that's nice to meet a familiar face, even if he is lying to me for some reason. Hi, oh, hello, Mouse Honey. Would you like to speak to me about something? I'm just walking around, walking into people's houses, trying to meet the locals. The locals? Well, I'm a local, all right. Local through and through. <laughs> Did they shin you to help me out? Uh, you need help from something? Do you need mushroom picked as well? Ashamed to ask, Sonny, but I've actually got a corn patch at the back of my house. I picked the corn myself, but nah, my arthritis is acting up, and my back is killing me. I can't harvest nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go harvest some corn for you, old man. Don't worry, I'll do it. Which of these is the corn? Are these uh, corn plants? I'm just gonna harvest all this corn real quick. I picked your corn, old man. Oh, what a real worker you are. You really helped me out. Ah, oh, but I don't have any money to pay you. Oh, what a shame. I was a hunter back before, you know. And I always had money, but now, oh, ah, shame on me. I really exploited you. You're really stupid, aren't you? Well, anything you could throw my way would help. Every little bit helps. If you got maybe, I don't know, some buckshot. Oh, what a fool I am, Sonny. I was a hunter, wasn't I? Shared it myself. Here, wait here. Take this. I used it to scare away the crows, but you might find it more useful. Here you go. Thanks. That's just what I needed. Whatever it is. It's an old hunting carbine! Ah, uh, the wooden stock is an engraving, a heart pierced by an arrow. All right, an old hunting rifle. Nice, my first firearm. I'm, that was definitely worth picking corn. That was definitely a worthy reward, thank you. Now there are mushrooms over on this side of the fence, I think I heard somebody say. So as long as I don't get ambushed by any thugs again. Although if they did, what are they gonna take? My empty canteen? Maybe the uh, babushka I took, I don't know. I thought maybe I'd be able to pick these mushrooms, but these don't look like the pickable sort. Fine, fine. Where are the mushrooms that you wanted me to pick? We have a rat down here and a bee over here. I'm looking for the mushrooms, but I can't really seem to find them. Where are they? Looking around for the mushrooms, looking around for the mushrooms. There's an old guy over here. I might be able to talk to him. I found a mushroom over here. There's a bee over here and a rat over here. Trying to try and walk around. Nope, there's two rats over here. And they don't want to give up the mushroom. Fine. 
It's rat stomping time. You get away from that mushroom, rat. That's right, stupid rat. Just had to stomp on him three or four times. And now your friend here. It's rat stomping day. Get out of here, rat. Stupid rat, get out of here. It's my mushroom. I saw it fair and square. And now we just pick up the mushroom. One down, four to go. Hello, old man, living on the outskirts of town. Seen any mushrooms around here? We got all these spiders and ants and rats. Ugh, it's like they're symbolic. A few more years and they'll form a political party. <laughs> but anyway, I got this fire going. If you got any canned food or tea, you're graciously invited to cook it here. Use my pot, if you will. Don't eat raw food, it's bad for you. This is the tutorial, okay, get it? And if you got any dice, and a good gambling skill, we could play some dice. I seem to have lost my dice some time ago, and I'm not much of a gambling man, but I think it's a fun way to spend the time. Well, I would gamble with you, but my gambling skill is atrociously low, and also I don't have anything to gamble, except maybe my empty canteen. And this broken shotgun I kinda got. I do have some herbs, I could make some herbal tea. There's no quality control, so by drinking this herbal tea, I either gain plus one to endurance or poison myself. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to risk poisoning myself, but for the plus one endurance? Yeah, oh, no luck. Someone put poisonous herbs into the mixture. I could have died, but I gained a little bit of life experience. Found a second mushroom down here. I just pick that up. That's two mushrooms. Let's see, there's got to be three around here somewhere. I see a crate here and some radioactive ooze. I don't know if that's going to destroy my health. I'm going to try and reach in and grab what's ever in there. Uh, I've got an antidote. I'll take that. And just walk away. I'm feeling kind of sick. I guess I got poisoned. Okay, my health is at 15. It's a good thing I grabbed that antidote. I could just take that now. And we've gotten some wildlife out here. We've got some spiders, some ants, some rats, and I've just been going around punching, well, mainly just kicking them. I've been stomping on all of them. Pretty easy to kill. Getting a little bit of experience here. Not much on their corpses worth looting. But I am gathering some of these mushrooms. I got a couple more to find around here. Uh, oh, if I have a shovel, I might be able to loot these grave sites. Don't know if that's going to be negatively affecting my karma or anything, or if there's even karma in this game, but that's an option. If I find a shovel, I might return and dig up the dead, seeing if they're buried with anything useful. Sounds dirty and underhanded, but at the same time, it's a survival game. You gotta survive. Are you fishing in this lake? Anything good, Biting? Who are you? I don't know. You get away from me. Whoa, calm down. I'm just passing through. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. I know you. You're a traveler from Adam. The moment I turn my back on you, I'll get knifed. I don't even have a knife. All I have is a shotgun with no ammo. Get out of here, I got nothing for you. How's the fishing? Have you caught anything recently? That uh, pond is kind of small, but there's plenty of fish here. Problem is that although dumb, even those critters learn over time. And now they're not biting as fast as they did before. Oh, could I fish if I had a fishing pole? Yeah, I guess you could. I don't know what the local fish like. Uh, maybe they like giant ants, wasps, or spiders. Well, there's plenty of those around here to use as bait. I bet you don't know which of their limbs and organs are fit to make bait. I bet you don't, so here's what I'm gonna do. Go to the nearest pub and get me something strong. And for that, I'll teach you the basics of bait harvesting. Just remember, I don't want anything that makes themselves. Normal pre-war alcohol only. And the harder, the better. I'll think about it. Talk to you later. So now we have an additional quest if we wanted to learn how to fish. And that sounds like it might be useful. Yes, I don't know how else we're gonna find food out here in the waste. I don't know if I wanna eat those rats. So being able to fish might be a very useful survival skill. But first we have to find something to trade or barter for some alcohol, because, once again, I got robbed and now I got nothing. On the plus side, I have kicked enough spiders, ants, and rats, and picked five toadstools, so now I can go turn in that quest. But on the downside, I now only have eight health, so I'm going to have to figure out how to restore my health soon, or else I'm just going to be very dead. Hello there, how's the gathering going? You got something for me? Yup, here's five mushrooms. Great work, I'm very proud of you. Let me see. Ooh, I could try and barter or speech with her. Eh, they're both about the same skills for me. These are some top-notch mushrooms I found. I strove to get only the best ones for you. Since you look like someone who knows what quality is worth, I think these might even be worth twice what you were offering. What do you think? They do look great, to be honest. I think you've earned a few rubles more. Here you go, and thank you. Great, now can I speak to the village head? Sure thing! I'll write a note to Comrade Kovalev right now, saying that I'd recommend you for hire. 
You'll give it to him personally, since I'm sure he'll want to talk to you. He lives to the left of the bar entrance. Good luck! Thank you, Katja. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Really, I mean that. I am happy to have some money for now, because perhaps I might be able to buy some alcohol or meat. This wandering hunter has some canned meat. It'll restore some health and also a little bit of hunger. So just do a couple of this. Yep, 20 rubles and a little bit of toilet paper. So that should be good, right? Good, good. And now we'll just eat that meat. And our health is back up to 15, which isn't maxed out. Our, it's 15 out of 26, which is okay. But we're not hungry anymore either, so... I guess that's a good trade. And now we have an empty tin can in our inventory. You'd think an empty tin can is nothing but garbage. However, it's not. Really, what kind, what kind of possible uses could I have for an empty tin can? Fine, I'll hold on to it for now, just in case. I really would have liked some shotgun ammo, though. I rested for about 8 hours, and I healed 1 health point, but I took 1 health point from hunger damage. So, I'm not in a better spot. I really am in a terrible spot. I need more food. Oh, brother. Okay. Okay, I'm still learning how the mechanics of this game work. Don't want to spend time unless I got food in my inventory. Comrade, comrade! Might you be here to fix our water tower? Yeah, I'd love to be able to do that. That's great. The motor isn't working, and our mechanic has disappeared. Probably went out drinking again. I could take a look at it. That is great, and the proletariat would be forever grateful for your humble cooperation. The water tower is nearby, please check it out. I'll take a look at it, don't worry. Now that I've gotten that quest added, can I activate this thing? No, I don't have any skills I could use to fix the generator. Ah, the clinic, yes, I... Can I help out with the clinic in any way? You must be the local doctor. Bullseye, young man. Dr. Mikhailovan at your service. But you may call me Constantine. I'd like your help, doctor. That's wrong. What are the symptoms? Here, drink this pre-war mixture of drugs. Okay, I'll drink up, sure. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good. Done and done. You are completely cured, young man. Please visit again if you find yourself in a scrape. Thanks, doc. I'm very appreciative of that, because I didn't know how else I was going to restore my health. Can I get a discount on the drugs I'm buying? Oh, I I'm not a merchant. Go haggle with somebody else. What kind of drugs do you have for sale? A rotten toadstool? Uh, a stimulant! Which is not a stim pack, it's a stimulant. That'll restore health, but it might get me addicted. I'll keep that in mind, it could be very useful. Hello, welcome to Frankovich's Guns and Ammo. All kinds of pre-war stuff here, rifles, shotguns, and pistols. The best gunsmith of the wasteland, that's what my title is. All my weapons are of the highest quality. If it explodes in your hands, you money back, guaranteed. How about a discount since I'm new in town? Uh, no. Uh, that was worth asking. Can I see your wares? I need some shotgun shells. You have any shotgun shells? You got a biscuit, a log. Why would I have a log? Why would I want to buy a log? Nails, sharpening stone. 545 rounds. No, I need shotgun shells. No, you don't have anything. I've got a firearm, but no fire for it. Nails, soap, tea, salt. Yeah, all good stuff, but not what I need. Not what I'm looking for. And now that we've made good with the townspeople, we might be able to talk to the mayor of this town. Or the general of this town. This guy's old, he looks about 50. What do you need, comrade? I got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. I'm looking for work, you see. Interesting, let me take a look at that note. Seems that Katya believes you can be trusted. Maybe so. In any case, you have made an impression. And this is recommendation enough. I notice a real warmth in the head's voice when he talks about Katya from the tavern. His tone is almost fatherly. Interesting. A little bit of extra details we got from putting points into the attention skill. So, how about that job? Maybe I have a job for you after all. You probably already heard about the bandit gang that terrorizes our village. I, I did hear about that, yes. Each month they come to take supplies away from us. If we don't pay up, they rob and kill our people. We tried fighting them, but to no avail. But now, looking at your honest face, I've come up with a little plan. Have you ever thought about becoming bait? The thing is, our village probably has a snitch living in it. A traitor. A rat. I am sure about this. Somebody made a pact with the bandits and tells them everything that's going on around here. But with that said, I can't imagine who the rat is. And the bastard himself knows me and the other villagers too well to get caught. We hired some mercenaries to protect us, but the bandits already knew about it. And each time we trade for a bit of money, they attack. Someone is ratting us out. You're a new face in the region. It should be easy for the rat to trust you. Bring me the identity of the traitor. That is the job. Why are you trusting me with this? I give you one of the bandits. I I don't think that's a good thing to bring up. Although, I wouldn't be one of the bandits because I'm new in town. I'll tell it to you straight. The village is slowly dying. The drought, the bandits, 
Our young people always leaving. A few more years and we'll be wiped off the map. The old timers will die, and the others will simply scatter. Some might even join the bandits. I really don't like my options, but it's probably our best hope now. A last hope to change something, to fix something. Not to bring back what we lost, but at least to buy our settlement a little more time. Well, that seems bleak. Do you agree or do you decline? Say it straight. I agree, where should I start? Where do you start? Let me just tell you who in the village I do not suspect. For one, I completely trust my fighting men, Jan and Petra, at the gates. They would not work for me otherwise. Oh, I've met them. One of them is friendly, one of them is chatty, that one not so much. Trader Yashin may be a suspect, he is new in town, and he obviously has a shady past. But he does so much for the village, I hope it's not him. Trader Yashin, okay, suspect number one. He built his shop with his own money, he pays taxes, and he suffers from bandits like everyone else. But maybe that's just an act. Dr. Makiavan and old Semyon I like to trust. We built this village together, you know. They are good people, tested by time, and very loyal. On the other hand, Comrade Grankin, the village superintendent, is a cowardly, shifty person, but... No, he is too cowardly. Too cowardly to even work with bandits. Well, I, I wouldn't put that past him. It is much more profitable for him to keep his post in the village, and the bandits would have no respect for him. Probably shoot him for laughs if he tried to talk to him. Katya and Vasya, owners of the tavern? They have no reason to be snitches. They would never do something like that. I just don't know about the rest. Are there any other clues you could give me? I suspect that the traitor is a man. Not too old. A person that travels from time to time, but is ultimately lazy. How do you know this? You just being sexist here? You don't think women can be criminals too? Yeah, I'm kind of sexist. What are you going to do about it? Those criminal types, they abhor honest labor. They think that only the low people must work, while they act like some aristocracy. Okay, I will investigate this when I have more clues, I guess. We have leveled up! Hooray! Okay, where are we putting our points? Our endurance is at two and our strength is at three. We're not doing so great right now. I think that might be because we're a little hungry. But we have 19 skill points! Where are we gonna put these skill points? Let's see. We do need a bit more survival. Try and get that up to a baseline 25. Um, We do seem to be very effective when it comes to punching things to death. We've been punching the wildlife pretty effectively. We'll get martial arts up to 70. Especially because it's difficult for me to find ammunition around here. And a few more points into speechcraft. That seems respectable. That's not been a bad first day. On the list of things to do, the fishermen still want some alcohol. We might be able to help them out with that once we've gotten enough money to buy some alcohol. If we have some more repair skill, we could repair the water pump. Otherwise, it might be prudent to go find the person who could do that. There was that missing person out there. We, could, we might be able to bring him back. The village head wants to find the snitch, so that seems to be a pretty big thing to try and figure out. Which one of these people could possibly be betraying the town? So a lot of things here, a lot of things you can do in this initial town. Uh, I look forward to seeing what other secrets I could uncover here. We've already found mushrooms and gotten corn and all the basic stuff, but there might be a few more things we can do here in this first town. I'm going to have to play this game a little more carefully because I'm very, very hungry right now. And I don't have any food or water, so I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, barter for some food. Or maybe quickly buy that alcohol and learn how to fish. Uh, but there are uh, quite a few quests left in the town, so I think we're going to come back to this and try to explore the town a little bit further next time. Until then, my name is Mike and this has been Adam RPG. Thank you for joining me.